Brooke? Megan, the security, please. Yeah, Steve, this is Eric Forrester. Have um, Brooke and Thorne come in yet? But they're on their way up now? All right, thanks. Yeah, she'll bring him in here and she'll break it off with him. She sure as hell better. You're telling me that Dad physically threw you out? I'll explain everything to no, you. No, Brooke, what is this about Mother? I was getting through to your mother, but I was wrong. Brooke, listen to me. I know things aren't going as well as we hoped. Lord, we've been kidding ourselves. She isn't getting any better. Uh, yes, she is. Look, I saw her at that party, okay? She stood by herself. You know what? Physically, yes, maybe she is recovering, but emotionally, she's still the same angry person that she's always been. And your father, he was furious. He practically accused me of murdering your mother. Oh, don't tell me he's still at that. Well, he said if we didn't break off our relationship, it was like holding a gun to her head. You know, I'm, I'm tired. I'm just so tired of these insults and these accusations. I can't take it anymore. It's just too much. I've tried to be strong, but your family has made it too damn difficult. I've done everything I can to appease your family, to find another solution to this problem, but they're just not backing down. I really don't know what else to do. You got permission from your dad? Got it. You talked to your crew in Venice? Yes, they'll be waiting for us at the airport tomorrow. Good. Here's travel plans, preliminary itinerary. Any location changes, refer to the Liaison at International. She'll arrange for any permits you may need. Uh, what about customs? The gowns have all been cleared, so all they need is your equipment list. Oh, they'll have it this afternoon. Giovanni, I want this shoot to go off like clockwork. I've put my heart and my soul into this new line. Now I'm entrusting it into your hands. Uh, don't worry, Rich. Uh, Kimberly and I are gonna give Forrester his most exciting campaign ever. Isn't that right, Princess? You can count on us, Mr. Forrester. I am. Oh, one more thing. Try and have some fun over there, okay? Thank you, Ridge. Oh, Giovanni, this is so amazing. This is the most exciting thing that I have ever done. Great. Helen found the other suitcase. Mom, what are you doing here? I've been worried about you. I thought I made myself clear that I don't want to see you. That is why I'm worried. You are cutting me completely out of your life again, and I don't understand why. But Amber, why are you packing? Rick and I are going overseas. To Europe? Not to see Becky? No. He's taken me to Venice. Venice. Oh, Amber, that is so romantic. This is exactly what you need. Time to, to rest and, and, and reconnect. And I would love to take care of little Eric. You don't even have to ask me. I won't. He's coming with us. Do you think that's wise? I mean, this time of year, the planes are so packed. There'll be delays and what with a baby. We're taking a company jet. Oh. Well, in that case, maybe you should think about bringing someone along to take care of little Eric. We're looking into it. Look no further. I volunteer. Becky, I'm still trying to understand how you could have given your baby back to your cousin. Especially if what you say is true and she's stolen from you. No, Amber's not a bad person, Suzanne. And she really does love little Eric. She'll be a good mother to him. 
But she's not his mother. You are. And, and I don't care how much Amber cares about him. She can't love him the way you do. He's your child. Little Eric belongs with you. a good life with Rick and Amber. Much better one than he could have with me. Why do you say that? Because they have more money? No, because they know how to take care of him and I don't. Becky, what happened at that motel does not make you an unfit mother. Well, it doesn't make me a very good one. You know, a responsible parent cannot allow themselves to get distracted for one moment. Distracted? Because... You weren't distracted. You were in shock. I mean, your cousin, a woman who you trust, took your newborn baby. If I were in that position, I'm sure I wouldn't have noticed a bottle cap. My baby almost choked to death because of my carelessness. Becky, it was an accident, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, and it's certainly no reason to give up your child. Look, Suzanne, I know you're trying to make me feel better, but this isn't helping. I made my decision. I can't be second-guessing myself now. But you are second guessing. I think that this is what this is all about. Your, your, your depression and, and your fainting spells and, and all these pictures. Becky, you miss your baby so much, it's making you sick. I do miss him. And, and maybe it isn't healthy, all right? But, but I can't help it. It's all I think about. Every day I, I wonder what he's feeling and what he's doing. Is he talking yet? Is he crawling? But that's so normal. Anyone in your position would feel the same. I, sometimes I don't know if I can go on living like this. But I know if I want my son to have the life that he deserves, I have to. No, you don't. Rick and Amber do not have to take care of little Eric anymore. I mean, look at this. You've got a great job, you've got your own apartment, you've got money and insurance, and even free daycare. You can do it all yourself. I mean, look at me and my son. We're doing fine on our own. It's different, Suzanne. You're the only mother he's ever known. Becky, your son is really young right now. But if you don't act soon, he is going to bond with your cousin. And you may lose your chance forever. Forget it, Mother. You are not going on my honeymoon. Well, who is going to take care of little Eric? Look, I know you. You are never going to be able to relax if some stranger is taking care of your son. That's why I asked Helen. Stephanie's maid? Yes. She is good with little Eric, okay? He's comfortable with her, and so are we. <sighs> what, is Stephanie well enough to let her go? Eric will be there. I'm sure she will be fine with it. And what if she isn't? What are you going to do then? I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I am not going to ask you to bail me out again, OK, Mother? Things have changed around here. I am taking responsibility for my own life now, which means if there are any problems to be dealt with, any, any decisions to be made, then Rick and I, we will deal with them ourselves. So please, if you want to do me a favor, stop worrying about me and my marriage and just go home. Listen, Dad and Ridge, they can't keep this up forever, okay? We just have to hang in there. We have to trust, and we have to believe that everything is going to be all right. But everything isn't all right. Honey. 
When is the last time that we had a conversation that didn't involve your family? Or the last time that we could actually relax and enjoy ourselves? I can't remember. Can you? broken us up yet, but they've certainly done a good job of coming between us. What do you want to do? Tell me. What do you want to do? Close the door. What's going on? Brooke is about to break up with your brother. You're eavesdropping on Brooke and Thorne? Yes. I want to be certain she does it. What makes you think she's going to break up with him? I think maybe I got through to her today. She came to the house earlier and she saw Stephanie working with her physical therapist and what a struggle it is for her. I don't know how anybody with a conscience could have seen what Brooke saw today and not be affected by it. I don't know, Thorne. I've run out of answers. I feel so beaten up. I just can't go on like this. Brooke, our future is still out there. We just have to find a way to get to it, and we will, once we get through this. Lauren, I'm just tired of trying to get through this. Just being here in this office, knowing that Ridge and Eric could barge through that door at any moment. I can't concentrate on my work. I can't even focus on you and me. I just keep praying that nobody's gonna walk in that door. Okay. Let's get out of here and go back to my place. <laughs> And then what if Macy's home? What are we gonna do, Thorne? Bridge is still on her ski trip, isn't she? No, I am through hiding out. I, I'm not gonna hide out in my house, that's for sure. Oh, God. I just wanna go away somewhere. I wanna get away, far, far away. Somewhere where, where we can just... Venice. <gasps> Kimberly's photo shoot. Yes, we can go. We can forget about your mother and this family and the stress and acrimony, and we can go have a good time and enjoy ourselves. What do you say? Huh. I say Arriva there to LA and born Juno Benincia. <laughs> <laughs> so then you'll do it? You ought to know by now there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Damn it! How could they? I don't believe this. She knows what this could do to your mother. She knows the danger, and this is how she plans to resolve it? This is how they're gonna solve the situation? Oh my God, if mother finds out they've gone to Venice. That's not gonna happen, Ridge. It's not gonna happen. They're not gonna get away with it. Now, either the two of them end this relationship right now, or you and I will. You deserve a medal. Mm. Oh, honey, I know my family has put you through hell. Your family isn't the problem. It's keeping this relationship a secret. That's what's causing all the tension. It's making an unbearable situation even worse. You really want to tell Mother soon? She's getting stronger every day. I bet by the time we get back from Venice, she'll be back on her feet. That's when you want to do it? We have to, Thorn. Not just for us, but for the entire family. Okay. When we get back from Venice, we tell Mother the truth. Promise me. Nothing will stop. Can't 
listen to this. It's those two make me sick. It's not gonna happen, Ridge. They're not gonna tell your mother anything. You're damn right they're not. I'm going over there right now and shut my little brother up for good. No, Ridge, come on now. That's not the answer. Then what is, Dad? Somebody's gonna teach those two a lesson. We will. You and I will. I'm just not certain how yet. But we're gonna put an end to this right now. Thorne and Brooke might be going to Venice together, but that's not how they're coming back. Even if I wanted to, I can't just go and take him back. It's more complicated than that. Well, did you sign custody papers? No. So then what's stopping you? I told you. Nobody knows that little Eric is my son. If the Foresters find out what I've done... You didn't do anything. It was Amber and her mother. But I was a part of it. I lied to them, too. I could lose my job. Becky, you're not an intern anymore. Uh, Mr. Dushavar hired you as a full-time employee. You're his employee now. I don't know. Becky, I know you want to do what's right for your son and your cousin, and I applaud you for your loyalty. But your son needs more than what Amber can give him. He needs his mother. And you need him. So stop torturing yourself and go get him. Hello? Vicky? It's Michelle. Are you all right? I, I heard you collapsed in the nursery. I'm okay. I'm just a little tired. Well, I think I've got some news that I think may make you feel better. Uh, did you know that the Princess Line campaign starts shooting this week in Venice? Is that Kimberly Fairchild's mm -hmm. line? That's right. She and our photographer are arriving tomorrow. Michelle. Why would I want to know that? Because your cousin is coming with her. Amber? Yes. I, I just made reservation for Rick, for Amber, and their nanny at the Hotel Bauer. The nanny? You mean they're bringing the baby with them? Yes, they are. Rick and Amber are bringing their son. <sighs> Did you have a good nap, sweetie? Oh. Mama has been packing for us while you were sleeping. Yes, <laughs> yes. Just think, our first trip to Europe. Mm. I know you're too young to know what that means, but it means the world to Mommy. Not just because we're going overseas, but because we're with your Daddy. Yes, this is a big step for us, Eric step to a long and happy future together. Becky, what's going on? It was Michelle. She just booked Amber and Rick at the Hotel Bauer in Venice. And my son is coming with them. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Venice is just a short hop from here. When are they coming? Tomorrow. Oh, Becky, this is fate. You don't even have to go to L.A. to bring your little boy home. He's coming to you. Becky, you've got to go down there. You have got to go to Venice, find your little boy, and bring him home to his mother. Back where he belongs. <laughs> Becky. 